growing right next to the hooked buttercup uh, where we get a little bit of a wet swale in the meadow is the kidney leaf buttercup. Now this buttercup has not just small flowers, it has really tiny flowers. So if you look at the flowers, you can see that they are quite small. Uh, the petals are, are small and the uh, sepals are even smaller. Uh, so everything's very small and then it produces these small little clusters of, of nutlets that are the developing fruits. Uh, it almost looks like a little thimble here. The leaves are different from the other buttercups in that they tend to be uh, much less toothed. So the upper leaves here in the, uh, in the inflorescence basically are uh, black teeth. As you go down the stem, well, the stem by the way is uh, smooth and not hairy. You go down the stem and you start getting uh, more distinct lobes and a few teeth that are fairly shallow. Um, and then as you move down the stem further, you get on down and you find the basal leaves. The basal leaves are what give the plant its name. The basal leaves right here are kidney shaped. They're not lobed at all. They have a sort of rounded teeth at the top, uh, but they are kidney shaped and they give this plant its name, kidney leaf ranunculus uh, or kidney leaf buttercup.